Hi folks and welcome to this unboxing video of Metacat 2.0. This is the second generation of Metacat. I was in two minds about getting the first version. I wasn't sure if it was really worth the price. But I love the added functionality with this one as this one comes with a microphone and voice recognition and eye icons. And thanks a bunch to Elephant Robotics for giving me 30% off this cat as it means I won't have to sell quite as much of my collection to pay for him. So without further ado, let's get this out of the box. So there's our Meta Cat. Got some packaging on top. And here's the instructions. <laughs> For getting rid of cat hairs. Nice comb there. And a charging cable because version 2 has a built in battery. There's his face. That's a, a boy's face, I would say. Looks a bit shocked. Got the power button here. Don't know if they'll have any charge. So it's a three position switch. We've got off, mute, or on. So we'll switch it to on. Oh, it has got some charge. Eyes have lit up. Wow. So before we start looking at the instructions and going over the functionality of this cat, I'll just tell you a little bit about it. Elephant Robotics makes these in partnership with Chonka. So Chonka make the plush. And before he went into partnership with Elephant Robotics to make these cats, Chonka made and still do make plush cats that look just like this. And they're all handmade. So they're made to be realistic and they use very high quality materials. And I must say it is very nice aesthetically. The fur is really, really Good quality it's very dense and long and, and thick so elephant robotics are responsible for making these plush creations robotic so as you see the cat's got a moving tail screens for eyes but they're very lifelike the eyes they're not like just flat screens in fact you can see they're actually rounded at the front and the head moves, I think it's in two axes. And it's a very nice movement. So let's take a look at the instructions. Metacat reacts to your touch, pet its head, jaw and back. So it's got three touch sensors. Metacat will move and meow. If you hold the head or jaw, Metacat will respond with purring. If you hold the back, you can feel the heartbeat. So let's try the back touch sensor first. Yes, I can feel the heartbeat. And there seems to be um, a sound effect as well, though it's very, very quiet. So I'll have to get to a separate microphone so that you can hear that. We'll try holding the chest. It says chest, but the diagram seems to be pointing to under the chin. Ah, oh, that makes, yeah, it does seem to be the chest. Yeah, it's a really nice purr. Yeah, so you can hold the back of the head and that makes it purr as well. And then stroking it will make the head and the tail move and make it meow. Oh, 
and then we've got a diagram of the underneath of Metacat. Open the pocket under Metacat's belly, you will see the charging port and three stages switch of Metacat. Charge your Metacat with a Type C cable, and you will see the blue light when successfully connected. So I've put Metacat on charge now, and you can see the blue light shining. So, as I said earlier, Metacat has got a microphone and has some voice recognition. So, in the instructions, it says voice interaction. The wake word is Metacat, so you have to say Metacat to get Metacat to start listening to you. And then you can give one of these commands. So, we've got interactive voice commands. So, that's getting it to move in a certain way. We've got control voice commands, so that's to alter the LCD eyes or the volume or make it go to sleep. And then there's some functional commands. So a lot of these, you'll get hearts in the eyes if you say good boy or you're so lovely or love you. And then it has a list of eye animations. So you've got volume up, volume down. You've got a heart. We've got this little symbol that shows that Metacat is, is listening when you say Metacat. You've got a little tick sign if Metacat has heard the command correctly. Got some Zs for when Metacat goes to sleep. Not sure what the fish is for. And that's interesting, you've got a battery low symbol. Metacat. <coughs> Shake your head. Look away. Metacat. Look down. Look up. Metacat. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Darkest eyes. <coughs> Metacat. <coughs> Brightest eyes. Metacat, go to sleep. And to wake up Metacat, you just stroke him. Metacat, good boy. Metacat, volume up. So, Paul, if you want to wake Met Metacat up, all you have to do is stroke him. Okay. Ah, yeah. Nice, that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice model. Mm. Metacat. Metacat. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The uh, the fur is nice, and it's uh, a sort of accurate looking cat, isn't it? It's nicely made. Yeah, they made to be realistic, mm. so it's Chonka that makes the plush. Okay, yeah. And mm -hmm. um, they make it like a life-sized mm. realistic mm. cat, and they do lots of different sort of um, breeds of cat as well. Right. So it would be nice when Metacat's available in, in lots of different breeds.
the head movement's quite nice as well, and, and the tail's not too bad, and the, the servos are reasonably quiet. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, they've got some nice movement around mm. the head. Mm. I think one thing they could do um, in a future version is do some more with the voice um, recognition. Mm -hmm. So it would be nice if they give you a series of questions you could ask and the cat nods or uh -huh. shakes its head because it, it can already nod yeah. and it can already shake its head. Uh -huh. So it would be nice if you could ask it a question like, um, are you beautiful, for instance? <laughs> uh, which obviously it would say yes. yes. Um, uh, are you a bad boy? Obviously it would say no. What do you no. think of that? Mm, interesting idea. It's, uh, it's, it's looking at me now and um, it's... Uh, it makes you feel as though something is looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's, that's quite interesting. Metacat. Metacat. So it heard me more than you then, didn't it? Go to sleep. <laughs> I love the fact that you can um, power it down by mm. just saying go to sleep. Mm. But another thing I like about it is... It's also quick, and once it does recognise your voice, it's quick and responsive. Yeah. And you get some feedback via the eyes, which is yeah. Nice. And one thing I like about it is, um, with a lot of uh, models that have got LCD eyes, when the LCD eyes are not on, they're just like black dead eyes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this isn't. It's actually got some if you can see there yeah it's like got some color. color it's got some uh yeah i can see that yeah so they still look like normal it's, eyes it's got like a, an iris and a pupil yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's nice it is he's got his um nice silicon pads but that's sort of courtesy again of the uh, chonker so it's a good idea then two companies getting together who specialize in different things one yeah. specializes in the making the, the mm. plush and the other specializes in um the animatronic side yeah because uk engineering did that with um i think it's called live live hearts mm -hmm. so when they brought out amagami ham ham and they did it in conjunction with live hearts yeah because live yeah. hearts already made the plush and they're a nice excellent quality plushes really quirky yeah. and fun. yeah mm. yeah so it's like if you're a little company you don't have to have the, the ability mm -hmm with the sort of plush materials yeah, and, yeah. and such for. Yeah, so that's, it works out well. So overall, I really like MetaCat. It's nice to see another robotic cat on the market that's aimed at adults because there aren't many. In fact, I can only think of one, the Joy for All cat. And I will be doing a uh, comparison of MetaCat with the Joy for All cat. <laughs> Understood me there, Paul. Did I? Mm. It's funny that I'm saying MetaCat now and he's been understanding me because he wasn't always understanding me when I was trying to give him commands. He seems to understand Paul much better than me. I'm not sure if he's more tuned to a male voice. What do you think of calling him Fred, Paul? I think Fred's uh, short for Frederick is a nice name, yeah. Frederick. <laughs> so, first impressions are, I really like him. So that about wraps it up for this video, folks. I hope you'll join me in the video in a couple of days' time where I'll do a comparison of MetaCat and the Joy for All Cat. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.